Hi and welcome to our presentation. Uh, we are from group 2 and today we are going to deliver a presentation regarding the biogas generator workshop. And this presentation was prepared for GIG 1005 Science and Technology Studies Department. And our leader is Lim Kenyao and members were Ahmad Asri, Ahmad Zarfan, Nur Humaira and Muhammad Adam Daniel. Firstly, we're going to talk about what is biogas. So, biogas is primarily consists of methane and carbon dioxide through the anaerobic breakdown of organic substances. For those who don't know what is methane, methane is a colorless, odorless, flammable gas which is the main constituent of natural gas and has a formula of CH4. And the source of methane in our daily life including anaerobic bacterial or vegetable underwater mainly found in wetlands, volcano, ocean floor, and methane hydrate deposits. And how is methane formed? Well, the production and combustion of natural gas are the main production method for creating methane. Activities such as the extraction and processing of natural gas and the destructive, destructive distillation of bituminous coal in the manufacture of coal gas and coke oven gas result in the release of significant amounts of methane into the atmosphere. Other human activities that are associated with the methane production including biomass burning, livestock farming and waste management where bacteria produce methane as they deposit sludge in waste treatment facilities and decaying matter in landfills. This will be the short summary of the history of biogas. Biogas was discovered in the 17th century and the first digestion plant was built in 1859 and biogas is increasingly applied because of its renewable characteristic during the 21st centuries. There are some precautions. There are two precautions uh, to be noted during this workshop. So this workshop is only for educational purposes. Please don't try this yourself. And biogas risks include explosion, asphyxiation, disease, and hydrogen sulfide poisoning in significant amount. So if you want to build a bigger size generator for your house, consult an expert to prevent this risk. Please follow the precautions. Apparatus used in this experiment including um, 5 liter size water bottle, a water bottle cap, and some tubes, syringe, gloves, and lastly a hot glue gun. For the experiment, our material we use cow feces and some vegetables. So why we use cow feces? So cow feces contain archaea. So archaea is thought to come from organisms called archaea, which are symbiotic or friendly microbes that live in a forgot of ruminant animals. In this case, cow. These microbes produce methane as a byproduct of their metabolism and this is then released by the animal as burping and flatulence. Archaeol is also existed inside the feces of ruminant animal which causes the feces to be able to be used in order to create the methane gas. These are the steps of the experiment. First step, we're going to collect the cow ruminants and put aside for at least two weeks to let it dry. And we're gonna take the water cap, water bottle cap. We're gonna open up two hole. We're gonna either punk, uh, we punch two hole on it, and we attach the ducts at the holes, and fix them with a hot glue gun. And then moving on to step five, we cut the wasted food into smaller pieces, which is the vegetables in the, in this case, and we blend it. Not, the blending process is not necessary but to fasten the process so we just blend it and we mix the blended waste together with the feces and we put the mixed culture into the container and cover it. Insert the duct into the holes that has been drilled. After that, fix them with the hot glue gun. Grab a knife and chop up all the wasted food into smaller pieces.
put cow dung into wasted food that has been crushed and mix it together. Put the mixture into the container through the funnel carefully. Close the container using the ready installed lid tightly. Aim the flame at the tube connected to the methane container and watch until the flame ignites due to methane gas. By creating a biogas generator, it benefits us by replacing natural gas for cooking purposes and fuel. Besides, it helps the earth to reduce global warming and greenhouse effect. Methane is one of the significant gas contributed to climate change. A part of its source is coming from the wastage of food. For larger manufacturing scale of biogas, it is used in production of electricity, methanol, steam and many other useful products. Therefore, biogas brings a lot of advantages to both human and nature. This is our reference for our workshop today and our experiment as well as some information that we use to conduct the experiment. And thank you for, uh, thank you for watching our presentation. We hope you learned something today and stay safe, stay at home. Wish you guys a good health. Thank you.